China boosts state-led chip investment. China is reportedly raising more than 27 billion US dollars for the third phase of its National Integrated Circuit Industry Investment Fund. Also known as the National IC Fund, or the Big Fund, the state-owned investment vehicle is backed by China's finance ministry and state-owned enterprises, as well as central and local investment vehicles. This follows China's new special treasury bonds, which will be directed at strategic areas. Yellen says U.S. rates unlikely to return to pre-COVID levels. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said it's unlikely that market interest rates will return to levels that prevailed before the COVID-19 pandemic triggered a wave of inflation and higher yields. Asked why White House projections released Monday showed markedly higher expectations for interest rates in coming years compared with projections a year ago, Yellen said the new numbers were in line with private sector forecasts. The ECB's operational framework review formalizes the status quo. The long-awaited outcome of the European Central Bank's review of its so-called operational framework nicely stays within expectations, formalizing many of the current tools. The European Central Bank initiated the review of its operational framework in December 2022. It took slightly longer than expected to conclude, but today, we finally got the results. UK housing market strengthens in February, Boric's survey shows. London, March 14, Reuters, Britain's housing market picked up in February but property surveyors said uncertainty over the Bank of England's interest rates path could temper demand, a closely watched industry survey showed on Thursday. The Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors, RICS, gauge of new buyer inquiries rose to a net balance of plus six last month, the same as a downwardly revised plus six in January, and marking the joint strongest reading since February 2022. International travel, January 2024. Overseas visitor arrivals were 326,400 in the January 2024 month, increasing by 58,100 from the January 2023 month. The biggest changes were in arrivals from China, up 15,700 United States, up 10,100 Korea, up 4,500 Australia, up 2,800 Japan, up 2,400. The January 2024 number of overseas visitor arrivals was 82% of the pre-COVID-19 number of 399,300 in January 2019. Of the 326,400 overseas visitor arrivals in January 2024, 37% were from Australia, compared with 36% in January 2019, 16% were from United States, 10% in January 2019, 9% were from United Kingdom, 9% in January 2019, 7% were from China, 11% in January 2019. Thank you.